what do you think of as the fanciest kind of like booze to drink or like a, a drink oh. that like when you hear it, it could be a mixed drink i don't really know many mixed drinks but like like old fashioned i think of that as like fancy i don't actually think it is though and or mm. like um what is that shit what's what aged wine called brandy brandy every i think of brandy as like a very classy very hey, rich guy cognac maybe cognac or, uh, is like sweetened though or maybe uh like like if you're drinking a very old scotch uh my alcoholic boy who had lots of money <clears throat> he always drank uh maker's mark <laughs> manhattans so that's my what i would drink boy <laughs> yeah yeah like like i didn't know what to order you know we're at this fancy bar he's like give me a maker's mark manhattan with extra cherries I was like, yeah two of them yeah i'll just have <laughs> a, a cup of cherries <laughs> <laughs> Has a stiff fucking drink. Yeah. Uh, something I don't like want a stiff probably. drink usually. Or something I, I, old, you know, like like a like an old Macallan, which I just learned the other day that if you buy, say, a 20-year-old bottle of uh, scotch, right, mm -hmm. you might hang on to it for 10 years thinking you've got now a 30-year-old bottle of scotch, but you do not. No, that's not you how that not. works. It has to not age in all. the cask. In the cask. Now, here's the question, Taylor. Could I pour it out of the bottle into a cask and start adding years? I say yes. I think so too. Yeah, you sell it back to McAllen. They're like, "This is terrible. Mm. Like, this is you, you. You've ruined our. Why did you put grapes in it? Like, what? Where did you get this cask? Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, this cask. It's made of yeah. plastic. <laughs> yeah, that would. We're more of a jug, really. It's it's aged in an old milk jug. Yeah, Scotch. I do think of that as a fancy pants thing. I think of vodka as probably the lowest class of the mixed drinks because you don't huh. you don't think of people like sipping on vodka when you see that it's always in a movie and it's some russian guy and i'm like i don't even think russians get it drink down vodka that way yeah i don't think anybody's down, sipping vodka no Maybe I'm it's wrong. so weird to see people sip vodka because i understand that it can have some like notes it can be vanilla like in some ways but in the end it has that harsh alcohol burn that that's almost usually um uh, mm -hmm. i would always get it so cold it would be thick and and not that's burn as much to. and i could feel that rock of ice hit my belly when i drank a big g -g glug of it <laughs> Ooh, i don't miss drinking oh <laughs> dude we used to like every night when i was on probation we would be playing PUBG, getting wasted getting <laughs> wasted playing PUBG. those are good times give me a little mitt <laughs> just getting was, just getting hammered because oh. you're like well can't smoke weed i guess i'm a booze boy now <laughs> i wasn't even supposed to be drinking i wasn't allowed to on, on all right so on state probation you could drink mm -hmm. which made sense because my charges aren't alcohol related on federal probation you can't even drink. That's so You're not weird. supposed to drink. And they could give you a breathalyzer. And they could test your blood, but they won't. So yeah. I would just keep my liquor kind of hidden. And uh, they, they never don't like search your place anywhere. The first time um, that we met, me and the probation officer, he's, he like looked around the place, like just so he knew what all the rooms were, yeah. I suppose, or to say that he had performed a, a search. But... Uh, that was it. He never looked around the place ever again. He always just watched me pee and did his thing. And uh, that's the time period I think that you honed the perfect amount of of vodka to guzzle oh. to get where you needed to go to to get drunk enough that you're feeling it, Mister Krabs, but you're not unable to play PUBG. <laughs> Those were dark times. Those were dark times in my life. The alcohol times. I would get a handle. I get a whole fucking handle. It was. Of, of Tito's because it was so cheap. Mm -hmm. I think it was like, Jesus, a handle might be twenty eight dollars. Yeah, that's like not very much. Maybe, it's maybe so that's and uh, yeah, I was drinking way too much vodka. I, I I remember I would pop that plastic piece of shit that's in the, oh, yeah. in the bottle that slows. <laughs> like how, I got places to be. I'd pour that fucking like like in a glass like this. There'd be like that much vodka. Uh, a nice least. little three finger pour. Yeah. Of of cold yeah. Tito's goes so down so cold it was gelatinous so fucking cold yeah I'm glad I don't drink anymore that is just a, a yeah. hard way to live that's not I don't good think you wanted to drink I, I didn't think you were just stressed as shit and trying to deal with a horrid situation yeah I just wanted to not feel that that when you're real stressed out and you just feel that edge just that sharp every time your mind slips over to oh yeah I might go to prison soon 
I wonder if the PO is going to kick my door in in the morning and take me away. When you've got like thoughts like that all the time, you need to get, you need to have a few beers or something. Yeah. You chill out. <laughs> um, so, so I had to get my mind off that. Did you, did you start that process with Dos Equis and then realize, oh, this isn't going to do it for me? Oh, I, need the you, I, I think I started it with Grand Marnier because that was the only alcohol that I'd ever had that I actually enjoyed the taste of that orange cognac. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but then I realized that that was, and, ridiculous and i found grand gala which is like a cheaper bottle of grand marnier because i was spending way too much money on grand marnier like a shocking amount of money grand marnier that's, that's such an expensive thing to be getting drunk on all the time yeah <laughs> just yeah, like ah, I, my little bot my little 40 dollar bottle of booze that's like, like a 55 dollar bottle of fucking alcohol <laughs> like uh, you know, i'm not swirling it in a cognac glass and taking it i'm just jug glug jug 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 like glugging it down <laughs> Yeah, uh, and eventually found Tito's, which was just the the cleanest way uh, to to get just blitzed. I, I I have no intentions of drinking anytime soon. There's no there's no alcohol in the house. I don't want any. Oh, I feel you. So shit. I don't think I have anything here right now either. Do does any part of you like think like oh you, a, 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 a hot afternoon, a nice dos equis. Because that's always mm-hmm. what you come back to, but doesn't. Yeah. Got it all out um, no, I never really got that. Like wanting a cold beer on a hot day didn't make a ton of sense to me because I don't find them refreshing. I find them kind of off putting and it's bitter <laughs> and gross. It's like on a hot day, I would really like like the best ice water or even sweet tea or, or, or something sprite. like that. Yeah. Or Sprite even, but not a beer. I don't want a beer. I don't, I don't think of that as like a refreshing beverage to hydrate myself with on a hot sweaty day i think of that as that's just people wanting to you know numb the pain of their hot sweaty day <laughs> they just had probably and yeah so i usually don't go out there if it's hot and sweaty well then you know it's better than i found it i did a lot of that um the first place uh, the place from two years ago uh i left that place in a fucking state and they did not hit me for a bit of my uh what do you call it deposit I was shocked. Uh, they, they, they even said in the move out thing, they're like, hey, we want receipts that you had this place professionally cleaned. Carpets professionally done and the house professionally cleaned as well. And I looked up what that would cost. And it was about five, six hundred dollars. And I was like, what's the fee if I don't? And like three twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a bit of a problem then. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since I was in the process of cleaning this place, but now if you're going to charge me three hundred, you know, three hundred twenty-five dollars for not cleaning, yeah, I really I'm not even going to flush. I'm not even going to do the basics anymore. And she's like, "Well, but wait." I'm like, "Explain to me why I should." Out of just, out of the good nature of my heart, from the people who just told me they're going to steal three hundred twenty-five extra dollars out of my pocket. You overplayed your mm. hand, ma'am, dumbass. Now I'm going to I'm going to spit on my way out. Uh, they overplayed their hand. I didn't leave like. A garbage human being I, I did clean the place i you know there wasn't trash on the floor there wasn't dust on the floor like I, I i swept and mopped but i left holes in the wall for sure there just wasn't enough time to patch and paint and they didn't hit me for a bit of that and all that nonsense like the toilet um uh roll holder and that that junky towel holder that every rental place you've ever been oh, yeah. in has all that shit falls off the first week so none of that was there i was also missing some of the drawers from the refrigerator because I had used them for some uh, some some marinating projects outside the refrigerator, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so you just took the, the drawer, the crisping drawer out, and filled yeah. it with brine, and then put like a pork yeah. shoulder in it. <laughs> yes, a turkey. I threw up the whole turkey. turkey. Like, I, and so, and, and then I left it outside, and it got all moldy, and the sun made it crispy, and it fell apart. <laughs> and then I always do this awful thing. It's probably the worst thing I do. I, uh, you know, I fry that turkey every year, so I got like four gallons of oil. And I intend to filter that oil through cheesecloth. I have the cheesecloth back into the bottle and seal it up hermetically so that I've got that expensive oil the next time I need. I never do it. I just leave it in that pot until it goes rancid. (laughs) And there's a little hole in the top for the thermometer to go in. So you keep the oil the right Mm -hmm. temp. Water slowly accumulates and leaks down in there. And it it makes this layer of water and it all gets disgusting. 
and it smells awful. And then the night before I move, I have to sneak into the forest behind wherever I live <laughs> and pour out this disgusting four <laughs> gallons of turkey oil. Sneak into the forest behind where you live and yeah. dump out all your oil into the into the groundwater. It's gonna make everybody yeah. fat. I was moving the other day and the, the, they were in the backyard. I was like, "You guys smell turkey?" And I went, "See, see." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm." Just, just no. what Captain Planet villain. Me, in the, me in the think you are uh, maybe having a stroke. Maybe. <laughs> maybe you are. Do uh, you taste those stars, I don't understand. I guess I've had a couple of Mexican people working for me recently, and none of them spoke English. And, and it, it, it always surprises me. And it's like, how do you not speak any, ma'am? Like, like she's like, Pero, Pero. She's like, talking about the fucking dog, not yeah. knowing the word dog. And I'm like, you don't know the word dog? I said it. Said to her face. <laughs> she, what's she gonna do? She doesn't even know. Yeah, she, she doesn't know, what, she know what a dog is. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I, didn't I, was, say it. I was just like, yeah, fucking pet the perro, and then like, but Toby. Dude, I, I moved to a new Toby's country. Toby's never seen you by darker than me, so he's losing his shit. <laughs> he's Arr, losing Arr, his Arr, shit. Arr. So mad, Toby. We don't behave that way. We're no. a progressive family. Oh, I'm petting him. I'm like, yeah, boy. In this yeah, house, we her. trust the science. Watch her. Keep your eye Keep on it. I show him those old videos from the 60s and right when they, they let those yeah, get his favorite movie is American History X. He watches Cujo over watch. and over. But you only let him over. watch the part before Ed Norton has a change of heart. You turn yeah, it right we'll off. turn it off when he goes to jail. Right mid-prison, just doop. Yeah. You keep yeah. him only only when he's still being racist in the laundry room. You turn it off right after that. Isn't that the... I feel like that's... I have only seen that's that movie once turn. ever. That's, yeah, I think that's where the turn. I've only seen it once ever too, but there's a scene in the laundry with the black guy where the black guy is explaining how he got there, and he's like, "Well, I was walking down the street, and you know, I had a I had a knife, and I was with a guy who had drugs on him, and they said that I was his accomplice, and they charged me with assault because he hit somebody the night before." And he's like, "What? What the fuck are you talking about? They don't do that to people." And he's like, "Did it to me," <laughs> and, and he's like, "Holy shit, this guy." What the fuck? I curb stomped a fucker. Like, like yeah. I belong in here. This guy doesn't even belong in here. He kind of comes to him that black people really do get the shit end of the stick, at least in that, you know, fictional movie mm -hmm. they do. Yeah, I that, that was, uh, I remember almost being taken aback, like, by some of his Nazi scenes, like, in his house where, like, like everybody's sitting around just, like, trying to have a nice dinner, and he's just like, and another thing about Nazis. And it's like, I remember watching just being like, I don't even know if actual Nazis are this much into it. Like I imagine yeah. like at dinner, a regular Nazi would, would probably like, is it everything is Nazis all the time? I think Every you'd have time? to be a higher up to really care about it that much. You'd have to be like Goebbels or some shit, but the average Nazi, you know, you'd think it'd be like the average Republican real similar, maybe even. And could you'd, be. You'd, have, <laughs> <laughs> you'd, you'd, you'd talk about it, but at the dinner table, you know, you'd, you'd put that down. Leave that, you put leave it that down, out of your heart. You you put some concealer on your enormous 128 font uh, Hitler rules tattoo that you have across your chest. That's something I don't understand at all. Like, like that's got to be like gang tattoos. If you've got a Hitler tattoo, what well, you're you're letting the boys know that you're down. Because mm -hmm. if I if you had a Hitler you do tattoo, not dabble. I know Nazi you won't ism. turn you on me. Live it. You you can't turn on your boys if you have a swastika on your arm. You're you're mm -hmm. you're really in it. The same way I guess if you had True. like teardrops and like I don't know blood life or some shit on your belly, you couldn't really. Dude, it, if it, I'm it, if I, I'm the king Nazi or I'm the king communist or whatever fucking yeah. extreme radical group I'm I'm the head of, you think I have a special task that needs doing and I'm giving it to the not tattooed up lunatic? No, I'm giving it to the guy who's got fucking little pictures of Stalin on his forehead because that guy loves the cause or Stalin. I'm doing the guy with, he wasn't, this guy has fucking 50 swastikas on his chest dedicated. 50. That's the guy you get. You don't, you don't, cause if you get someone else, you get some guy with a little hammer and sickle tattoo on like his inner thigh. You get some guy with like a little tat, like a little, like a beecher on your butthole. That's how you Ooh. get a fed. That's like a fed tattoo. Oh, yeah, you can go full bore or nothing at all. Yep, you need to go full bore or nothing at all. Jump in with both I, feet or don't even bother. That's I wouldn't I, even. I, I felt like the avocado was a step too far, but there's no way I'm getting a, a swastika. No, I wouldn't get a swastika either. I think it'd probably be negative on. I think it'd be a negative thing to have on you. 
I think most people would see it and think, I don't care for that. No, no. Like mm-hmm. You'd have it real limited, really, opportunities in general, you would imagine. Um, I would want to, if I saw someone in, I've never seen this a tattoo in real life. I have. But if I saw someone, well, I believe you, but if I saw someone with one. Every night. I wouldn't want to go talk to them because <laughs> every <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> every night when i go to bed i throw a little roman salute up and then i hop in my sheets and i pray to the f- and <laughs> that's that's my life yeah i i would want to ask them though like what what's the story here man like were you in jail did you have to get this for jail and i imagine a lot of people would be like no no dude i'm i'm real deal and it's like are you really or did you get turned out by a bunch of Nazis in jail? Oh. And now you're you're like so Stockholm See, I've, syndromed. I don't even know what their side of things is. Like Nazi for like, like neo Nazis, that is. Mm. It just so I was always afraid to listen. Like, what if it made sense? Like, like, like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like what what if they laid it out and it was just about prudent national economics? Uh, <laughs> like it's kindness just like, to one another, like, 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 like love. <laughs> they they like they, they they start subtitling Hitler's speeches on the History Channel, and people are like, "Uh huh." huh. And we must live with our <laughs> brothers in harmony, <laughs> and we must live in harmony with our brothers. I will what not thing? suffer any bullying in the Reich. <laughs> you there, I see the bullying in your eyes. You must. This today we speak about self care <laughs> and how but you must take gruesome. many days off of work to be okay. It would be it would be worrisome if if any of that started making any sense at all. Because what are you going to do then? You know, we just laid out why you can't even have the tattoo or really talk about it at all. Like it, it's, tattoo, it's definitely yeah. Yeah. the Hitler fellow's persona non grata. You, hear, you know that African guy whose name's. Fucking Hitler by coincidence. His dad does not know who Adolf Hitler is. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know that there was an Adolf Hitler. He just coincidentally named his son Hitler. To be that guy. Yeah. To be a guy who's like, that is so funny. Tell me of these. Like he's like just like doesn't get it at all. Or they're like, yeah. do you like the ADL is showing up at his fucking village with cameras and everything? Like, what did you do? What are you doing? And he's like, Who are you people? And why are you in my village? Why are you wear a small hat? Who are you? Like just, <laughs> just, like, just no Is it a conception. Massad after him. <laughs> just, just, just no conception of World War II or what Jews or Germans are. Just fuck. Just living yeah, his life, man. No more, no more, no more Adolfs, and really no more. I've been the Bin Ladens. They're everywhere. That guy had like yeah eighty goddamn cousins. His his family's all living over here. They're in Florida. You can I guarantee there's like three of his kids in Florida, like two in Texas, one in Cali. Like, like they're they're just strutting around, living life up to the Going fullest. To fucking Disneyland. Yep, you know they get. Yep, for sure. Scoping things out, taking too many pictures. Too many pictures. They just want to know how to get up into the Tower of Terror. They don't care how to get back down. That was one of the worst parts of the post nine eleven hysteria. Is you'd have tourists and American landmarks taking pictures of them. Because that's what you do when you go to another fucking country and yeah. see their landmarks. <laughs> but but for some reason, we were like, look at this. This dirty fucker's been taking pictures of the <laughs> Statue of Liberty! <laughs> the Holocaust Memorial! <laughs> Broadway. I uh, don't uh, understand what I did wrong. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to see a uh, Book of Mormon <laughs> in the New York City. Yeah, he's Taliban for sure. Mr. Mogatu, sure. Mr. Mogatu. A likely story. I grow third arm from radiation. Just wanted to experience Stop squinting at me, you son of a bitch. I know oh. you're from Afghanistan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, then he like is talking to his wrist, and he's suddenly just like, they're finding it out. Like, <laughs> they're, they're on the case. They're going to get my... That happened a lot, though, because some poor fucker, like I said, would just... You know, he's taking pictures of the goddamn landmarks, man. He wants to go back to his homeland and show him what yeah. the Statue of Liberty looked like. You've seen that thing up close before? Statue of Liberty? Yeah. Never. No, I've never been Me to New either. York. I drove right past it uh, twice, two or three times, actually. It I just hear it's not like... as cool as you think. I hear it's very little. Yeah, comparison. it's real small. The pedestal is most is 
like 50% of it, maybe, maybe even I think more. it's well past time. France, uh, you New know, re- refurbishes 0. the gift a bit. Yeah. 2.0. I mean, this is a, this is very much a 140 years ago sort of statue. I think Look, a we, we too... looked at the comparison. We're getting blown the fuck out by India. We're getting blown the fuck out by China. We're getting blown the fuck out by Russia, the Philippines, Thailand has a bigger statue than we have Thailand. Well, we got to do, do a full redesign because I, I don't know how to put this, but lady Liberty is a bit, too anglo-saxon for today's modern america no i think i think, uh, I think she's fine the way she is but she needs to lose weight she should I be a little I'm, thinner i'm going the other way i thought we'd get like a big thick lizzo type statue like like, like a big bitch up there and Made she's of solid sort of, gold she's doing bankrupt she's, the, the country <laughs> she's doing this she's like wagging a finger like like about to like snap like, about to like have some that's what words. that's what america is now a yeah. fat woman finger wagging for the rest of our days. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's the world we live yeah. in now. I'm gonna talk to the manager. Mm-hmm. We are the manager, though. I really like every time I hear more uh, about the U.S. military. I just love it. I just love it. I love all the money that we spend. I love all the scary weapons. They just they just they're gonna give cluster munitions to the to the Ukrainians now, Taylor. Ah, oh, wasn't that a you know that, crime last year? No. Well, we were very clear about what that was. That, like, the cluster munitions are just very, very effective, you know, and, and, and most countries consider there used to be war crimes, but we are not one of those countries. <laughs> we are not. not when it's Us and yeah. Russia are cool with cluster munitions, it turns out. Uh, I think what it really was, was there was a deal at some point about, hey, let's stop using this, let's stop using that, and it didn't work out. They didn't want to give up something, so we didn't give it up to either, either. So, yeah, we use cluster munitions, and now the Ukrainians have them. It's great, though. The problem is, I guess, great, some of though. the little bomblets get left over, and little Janie or Johnny... Yeah, and little kids slobbing. get blown up, and... Yeah. Well, they're, you know, they'll learn. They're smart kids over there. No, you don't, you don't get to learn from getting blown up. That's usually a one strike, and you're out. Well, yeah, you fucking see what happens to Jim, and, and now you fucking comes to Man, you. If I were to get bomblets. If I were to get blown up, I hope it takes me out. Like those, mm-hmm. those pictures are you, dude, you disagree. You're always talking about how if you lost a fucking uh, pinky nail, you'd kill yourself. Oh, I'm saying you'd survive. You got, I, you got both of your legs blown off. No, no I'd want to die. I'd want you yeah. to like go on though. It's, it's, it's what I'm saying. I'm like, Mm-mm, you shouldn't die. No, 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 you should live on. We're both laying there with our legs blown off and you're like killing yourself. And you're like, but you Taylor live yeah. on and tell live people on. my, st- tell I, my like, story. I, I bleed out as you're killing yourself. Yeah. You've I've I've lost both of my legs and you've lost three fingers and the other finger. <laughs> 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 I'm just already taking the dying. Deck, taking the L, and I'm screaming at God, calling him a God. bastard over my fingernails. Before before I even like fade off into that great oblivion, I look over at you going <gasps> boom, blow your head off. That's the last thing I see. My last experience on Earth is like feeling the warmth of your brains on the Jeez. side of my face as I die in, in East Ukraine and I watch well, a I mean, cluster mine. I wish I hadn't drilled Sonny out of my head so bad. I wish I could go back you to like season on the three sun. of Sonny and watch it again. But I, I, I'll, I'm probably five years out from being able to do that still. I just watched way too much of it. Way you should, too much. You should watch the, the, the new Sonny. Uh, the, the episode with uh, Aaron Paul and... Um, Walter White, whatever the guys from Breaking Bad was so funny because so, Wait, that's so, this season. Yes, that just happened. The show ended like ten years ago. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. What are we talking? No, about? Breaking Bad. I know. Yeah, yeah. They're having them on now in 2023. Okay, so let me explain what what the premise of the episode is. So those two guys have a tequila brand together in real life, and oh, the Martin. gang. The gang sees that they have this tequila brand and they want their own alcohol brand. And so they think the way to do that is to partner with them. And they see they're doing some sort of a celebrity event, but they don't re- they don't know any they don't know what Breaking Bad is. They think that's Malcolm in the middle. They think that's Malcolm and his dad from the show. They think Aaron Paul is Malcolm. They're like, man, Malcolm really well, it didn't turn out well, did he? he rough. <laughs> See, that's a funny joke. I like that. He's like, that's the guy from Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Jesus, Charlie. He looks worse than you do or whatever the fuck. Like, it's and and uh, I got to say, hearing that the the impetus of this episode is a marketing ploy for a tequila company does not give me high hopes, but I'll give it a go. 
It was good. It was good. I didn't mind that at all. I didn't mind that at all because uh, Aaron Paul and... Are you going to try their tequila? Are you going to go get some Breaking no, Bad? No, that tequila's been out for a, years. A guy they even No, they even make fun of the idea of celebrities having their own alcohol in the first five minutes. They, they talk, all you got to do is slap your name on some product, any product, and they'll buy it. You make a boatload of money. Yeah, we got to get on board with this. Like The, 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 the whole fair. idea that the, the Aaron Paul and Malcolm in the Middle's and Malcolm's dad... So, no, enough about tequila to like what I'm supposed to believe that they went out there and got a muy authentico recipe. <laughs> like, muy like, authentico. It, is that it? Is their recipe better? Or oh no, their agave is extra pure from the southeastern region. Extracted. I don't think so. I think so. I'm pretty sure they just got paid to endorse something and they own a piece of the company like everybody else. Yeah. I like this new place. I can just let the dogs out and they can go do their thing. Yeah, your new truck. place looks sweet. They I saw the obviously the video and pictures you sent. They're all stoked. They are having so much fun with all that room. They're so fucking Toby's muddy. I got him a swimming pool out there, like a little kiddie pool. So he's just going going to town in that thing. He, he brought in an eight foot uh, long limb this morning into the house somehow. <laughs> just as he run, run, as he's running through the house, he's whacking shit off <laughs> tables and knocking boxes over because there's still stuff unpacked. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, TaskRabbit. I think is this app where you can hire people to do nonsense around your house. And uh, I'm hiring this this fellow to come. That. Yeah, there's a bunch of them that are that are similar apps, but I'm hiring somebody to come hang all my art and you can call it that and my photo, my pictures and hangables and uh, and everything because I I don't want to do it. Have you updated your hangables at all? Anything new? Um, nothing funny, you know, just just actual stuff that looks good at, uh, on a wall. Nothing silly. I've got my Soprano shit and my Seinfeld shit that'll go somewhere inexplicably mixed in with normal art. But um, <laughs> I have all my silly stuff in this room. My out, out, outside of this room, it's a normal adult house. Aside from the enormous amount of board games I have on my shelf out there, but yeah, other than that, no. Yeah. I, this this is going to be perfect because I'm just going to take post its and put it on walls. And like this goes there, this goes there, this goes there, and it'll get done. I mounted the TV by yourself. Man, I, uh yeah well you know I, I got girlfriend to pick up the other side oh. of it so we could like hook it in I, I i could probably hang it by myself if if it were sitting there but it, there'd be a lot of blindly trying to guide a puck into a slot on the back yeah while holding that whole tv over your head which would be a nightmare but no i i put the mount on the wall and mounted it and i've got a stud finder you know me too missed the first hole though missed dang it's a little drill okay. bit. Though. No it's covered by the just, TV. Yeah, and and you know it's huge. Yeah, exactly. You, you drill I'm drilling the hole, and I'm putting these long two two and a half inch lag bolts into the into the wood. Miss the first hole. Find the second one. Perfect. Hammer it in. Now I got the bracket like by a corner. Now mm-hmm. I just gotta like straighten the bracket up, put the level on it, find my new hole, and I <laughs> miss it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> miss it. Fuck. After the sixth miss, and by the way, every time I'm missing, I'm getting the stud finder back out and and like knocking on the wall and doing my best. I just went mad. I just got mad, and I started <laughs> just drawing a line across the wall, and uh, until I fucking hit it, I drew. I'll take a picture later. You get a laugh. I, I just cut exasperated. Boop, 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 boop. Fifteen holes, I bet. I bet I hit it fifteen fucking times. <laughs> At one point, I was like, "I'm gonna need to go lower so I don't cut cut the wall in half." Because I was <laughs> this is the, the TV look want... good. Oh, it looks great. It looks great. It's behind the fucking TV. Nobody will see it. I did it in the yeah. last house too. To be honest, I, you know, just... <laughs> did you put some toothpaste in there before you moved out. I know. I went through the whole place with putty and paint and sanded everything down. What was the name of the lizard from The Simpsons? Patty and Selma. They had one. Oh fuck, Patty and Selma's Gordo lizard or something I, like something weird. weird. Probably I, is that the episode where where Bart frees that lizard and it eats all the the eggs, all the bird eggs. I honestly don't remember. I was going from childhood memory. It's weird watching it now as a man grown closer to Homer than but to Bart because as a as child, obviously yeah. I, I you're like Homer's age with, now. I am Homer's age. Uh, as a child, I identified with Bart because I was he's ten. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I was ten or twelve when I was in my heyday of loving that show. And now I'm 37. I'm Homer's fucking age, and I'm watching. I'm like, man, I need to treat Homer better. He's he's just always there working hard. <laughs> he's always there working hard. You know, like oh, he like they make fun of him because he has a beer or 20 on his day off. <laughs> 20. But, 
he always finds some way to, to support the family. He went to space. He knows multiple presidents. Yeah. <laughs> He's a heck of, heck of a guy. You know, he gets shit done. Yeah. You've been to space? Oh, you haven't been? Like, <laughs> it's just like such a you shit. You should go. <laughs> oh, you should really go. It's great up there. <laughs> it's just a fucking funny I, uh, episode. I, did, I got to like season 14 and it started getting real bad. Yeah, you got uh, to so cut it off for that. It gets yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. That uh, episode but, or that uh, YouTube video you told me to watch years ago that was like, it kind of analyzed the downfall of The Simpsons yeah. or, or the, 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 the shifting. I think that guy was like season 10 or 11 or so. And he's kind of on point there with like Homer becomes a blithering retard instead yeah. of a well-meaning, but often misinformed or misguided guy. Like he, yeah. he goes from like well-meaning goofball to, to like to genuinely being like, fuck you suckers like that kind like you can see Homer's the, the guy you can really who will see miss- the, uh, the Peter Griffining of Homer. Is what it is. Is they yeah. they saw how popular Peter Griffin was becoming. Peter Griffin, a much more rough around the edges, dirtier character than Homer ever dreamt of being. They see that taking off, and they go, "Oh, Homer's got to get more intense. Homer's got to be more like Peter Griffin. He's got to be almost because Peter is not always a well-meaning guy. He's yeah. often a bad guy. Whatever the joke needs, like whatever the joke needs, is what uh, he is. And that doesn't really work with Homer because Homer has more of a like if, if Homer like attacks someone viciously, like it, that's not really the Homer, you know. Right? Flanders is really the only guy that he <clears throat> he he despises and hates, and Flanders is such a good guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I, wa- I watched a bunch of it. I watched the one where uh, they built a soapbox race car, and that's an example of Homer being incompetent but not retarded. Yeah, they show up with Bart, Bart's soapbox race car, and the judge goes, "Oh, son, I mean, your parents aren't allowed to help." But uh, your parents aren't allowed to build the car for you, but they can help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Homer goes, no! Because <laughs> he built the fucker. It looks like shit. It looks so bad. The other children's cars look way better than the car that Homer and Bart yeah. built. It's, it's a real... <laughs> Martin oh. has like a real looking one. It's like, eat Martin my ha- breath, Bart! It looks like the space shuttle. It looks like the space shuttle. And then uh, um, um, what's Nelson, what's the, Nelson ha- has like a Roman chariot thing with spikes on the on the tires <laughs> and shit. Yeah, it's a good time. It was a great show. I wish there were more shows that I enjoyed watching, like Old Simpsons, King of the Hill, Family Guy, 